My email is peterwilliam at gmail.com. P-E-I-T-A. Oh, I'll just resend it again. Yeah. I'll send it again. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll send it to a, a email with your name on it. But just peterwilliam at gmail.com. Peterwilliam at gmail.com. Oh, peterwilliam. Peter William. I'll check it afterwards. Gmail.com. It just show you what I'm doing with uh, my my private investigator. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. So it'll, it'll probably take him a couple of days to come back up to speed again from way back. Uh, uh, okay. But that that's the only way to do it. He'll 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 finish it off. He'll finish the whole thing off. Yeah. So that. That I'm guessing it should be done next week, early next week. Should be should be all over. Okay, well, well, let, 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 let's take a week anyway. Yeah. Let's hope it'll be done before the twenty-eighth. Yeah, that's what I'm picking. I wanted to make sure that the um, Waitangi National Trust wasn't going to get away with it because that's they're having these celebrations on that day. To mask over over King William uh, and bring in Prince William. See, he's a Spaniard. He's not a Dutch. The Dutch, our our, our King William is the Dutch, and that's the problem. That if he if he becomes king, then he'll whip this flag off us. And that was the whole idea of him coming in as as uh, uh, on the Queen side of the wrong side of the bloodlines. And that's why I pushed everything over to back to the king for us. Otherwise, our flag, they can destroy our flag in uh, Westminster from the EU Parliament. That's what they've been trying to do, to keep all... I, I don't think he'll come in. I think Charles will have to come in because all, all the, uh, all the thing has been aligned to Charles, eh? Well, he's the Wales. That's the old England. And, and he's, he's, he's more in line than William. He's a different father. That's not his father. His he, his father's the Spaniard, the the the, the uh, king of Spain, uh, William William. That's where the, and the other fellows Hewitt. They they're not they're not Charles is not their father, and that's where the problem in the royal family is. They they mixed it all up so that people get confused, and so we're keeping down our Dutch line to keep our flag intact with King William the Third and King William the Fourth Dutch. And, and they're from the Netherlands, you see. That's where the world court is in the Netherlands. Uh, um, 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 for us to keep our, 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 our status. That's what I've been working on all these years to make sure that they don't steal our flag. And that's what Peter Peroni has been doing all along. He's been taking all the money out of it for, them, for their own uh, families. Uh, I mean the royal families. Because uh, that's the Queen's business is running in that Waitangi Marae underneath that uh, um, British ship on the dry land there. there. That's our ship. And that's the next place we're going to go after as soon as we get Cook Street. That's the next. We take the ship and the, and the land there. I've already got all the documents ready to go uh, for that title, the Ututonga title. The Ututonga one house on Bear Violence title. I've got it here. And so I'll get to that stage yet one day. Uh, that's just another one, one, one uh, down the road a bit. But we get the financials sorted out, Willie. And, and you follow us up very much in that Tuunga Wakabalai is the mainstay of the business in Auckland. And just as well as in your church, uh, because it's safe where it is right there. And the, the government can't interfere with that too much because the church has the president over the other marais are run by the crown. All, all the marais are run by the crown and, and the iwi Maori. That's the difference between that te unga waka marae where why we went there all the time, me and Mohi. There's another marae up the road in Epsom, but that's the other one we went to, the, the Hawaii, Hawaii marae. Between those two marae we had our, our, our hui. But now, today, we, we continue in that marae straight to Hokianga and, and, and Kaitai, where the where the uh, Kindle started off with the uh, with the uh, the flag. It all started from there, we're not, eh? Yes, we're nearly there. Yeah, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We just have to hold our fingers tight.
but uh, I've done all the work on with that private investigator. He's got everything. There's nothing to 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 make. It's all done, and all he has to do is pick up on the on on the Te Ungawaka Marae and the uh, um, uh, the the Paramount Chiefs to fit the British title, and that that that's it. He he knows the rest is history. He's got it all sorted out, and uh, he's not going to let anybody get away with it here because he's British. He'll make sure the British gets their cut out of the flag on that side of the flag, and on our side of the flag, we're 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 clear. We should we should have more control or control over what we do. We leave the other ones to do their own thing, the government that is, and that's why I've got those big power notes to cover the debt because these guys understand it from Scotland Yard. He's from Scotland Yard, uh, and he knows how, how the system works in Britain here. We use, that's why I'm using those acts, those acts of King William, because he knows that we're allowed to do that with that flag and uh, our partner. It's all good, uh, Willie. It's all good. It's, it's, it's been hidden from us, but it's out now. Okay, okay. Thanks. I'll send those back again. All right. You too. All right. Well, that's Willie. Um, it's a bit dark here. I'll put some light on. I'm fiddling around trying to get the camera going. Oh man, I better clean my house. It's a bit of a mess because I just keep going. Um, so, um, for Willie, um, I'm glad they got the church, the uh, Catholic church up there, and um, farewell to uh, Ben Mooringa. Ben Mooringa was a, a good fella, big man, but um, he never saw this out, but he'd be watching now from uh, up there in Pangaru, um, uh, the Catholic church there. But I'm in the uh, St. Mary's church, that's my church, and um, on the uh, English side, <coughs> and on the Northern Ireland side, the St. Patrick's Church, that's my church, in my family, um, the Rogans and the Cosgroves. So, um, but uh, back to the church, um, uh, it's just as well that Marae is a Marae. Uh, we treat it as Marae in uh, Epsom, and um, um, they've allowed us to go there, and it has allowed us to go there and have hui, because it's their uh, time now, it's their time and I've got to give it all back, all this information that's been uh, hidden away and I put it back and set them free. That's all I want to do. Um, so, uh, Willie, I've just I got your email now. I'll resend all those documents from yesterday and um, make sure you get them because the others, I think I'll send it to King as well, King Toto as well. And so I've been missing them out all along, but uh, the last time I sent him the documents, they're very crucial. And he's got his place on Tethi Marae to uh, sort out the tomata, sort out everything because it's back to front, inside out, and it's all wrong. Uh, so, Kingi, you, you, you get your, your marae out right. I told you what was going to happen. You're going to get your land back, your marae's, and uh, this is the way to do it. There's no other way around it. This is the way to do it. So if you follow uh, what's happening with the proclamation with uh, Bundy, that's his own and your own prerogative to do that, and it's correct. Whatever you say and do is correct. And my job is to just make sure the British gets the message from you. Uh, uh, and I will look after the bank and the pound notes. Those are King William's pound notes and his gold coins. I'll look after all the financial matters for the Marae and for the rest of the world where that flag went. I'll hold them account, uh, accountable. And now I've got a good man, um, Graham Aylett, the a private investigator from uh, British detective, expert British detective uh, from Scotland Yard over in England. So we're going to cut this one through with um, the British Royal Navy, so our, our legal legitimate partner. And with Theresa May, we're going to cut a deal with them straight out. Uh, and I'll sit down with him. I'll sit down with my uh, executive team in Scotland, 
um, and we're keeping with Scotland with the land titles of the Freemasons um, uh, instruments uh, that uh, they're going to have their cut out of it too as well so I'm not going to skip right over them because no, they did all the work in those times and I'll just make sure it's clean on our side uh, with King William back into the King's Bench Court Magistrate uh, in Westminster uh, so uh, uh, for the Paramount Chiefs uh, I think we're getting very close now and I don't uh, expect any uh, problems or any um, legal fights um, that the Crown New Zealand might put up but I think their days are numbered and with um, um, you Tai Choi my lawyer I'm very disappointed that he has uh, left his uh, secretary to do all the talking. I want to hear from him. I don't want to hear from her that he's finished with me. But since he's not there and avoiding me, it's very difficult. I draw my own conclusions. You've got an office, I've got an office. This is my office in this little house and I make the dishes and pull the shots from here. I've got all the titles, the flag and everything behind me and the chiefs. So you have a problem now, Mr. Yu Tai Choi, because you're tied to John Key, um, convict, gone to Australia where the convicts came from here. The prison convicts came from here, from there, New South Wales, and he's mixed up with the banks and with Air New Zealand. They're all liable now. You get this power note right over your heads. Anybody that's associated with him, including TPPA and America and their establishment, the US federal state, everywhere he's gone and promoted his own private business, their own elite businesses are now liable. Um, this week, uh, I'll be, today, I'll be putting all the documents together uh, from 2012 uh, to 2014 and 2015 with Graham Elliott. He's put a lot of work in, so I'm expecting an invoice from him for that work and then we're going to discuss it with the Paramount Chiefs uh, and sort out how we pay him because that's my problem. I've never had money to pay anybody. I had three lawyers on the go and never paid, oh, except Charles Herschel. I paid him but a bit at a time each week but he won't answer my calls. There's a problem. If no one answers me, they've got a big, big problem. They're hiding something, and we're going to find out. We're going to find out. We've already libeled the police, the, the courts, uh, uh, O'Shaughnessy, Dave O'Shaughnessy, that took my birth certificate, and from Wins, that's another one. I'm still chasing that. And Wins, your libel Wins, for all my birth certificate. It's over a trillion pounds. It's a trillion pounds on my birth certificate. When my birth certificate's a trillion pounds, everyone else's is a trillion pounds against you, Wins, and everybody else using our birth certificates for instruments for your elite families, Queen's business, and Rothschild's. You're going to get the bill a trillion pounds each birth certificate on this king's side against you right back to 1820. Tira Waikato, Whare Marikau signed into the Scottish uh, Edinburgh Magistrate Court, sold his land, this country, and the Pacific Islands. Okay? That's the title we got here, here, in this land. Even though 1834 was when the British founded this country legitimately with this flag, the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi on this side is a fraud. The whole lot is fraud. I'm going to show you how much fraud there is and corruption in the Maori because the Maori belongs to the Queen. That's her little game of snakes and ladders. So, you'll see. We're going to build them, then boot them. All those Maori leaders, Iwi, leaders, trustees, your days are numbered. All of you. All of you. We have masked over the Moriori's and changed it into white man. That's going back to uh, Manahi, Parapara, Mohini. It's going back to him and the Manakaus of Mogatotini Mountain. 
down that way, in the Waikato region. That's where the Manukau's really come from. That's why I'm saying that out flat out. Cambridge. Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau came from Cambridge. And then Refa Refa Manukau. He came from um, Waiuku, out that way. The Manukau Marae out there, I know where it is. And we went out with Moi, I made some films. I got some films, old films, to pull out and, and edit from the old days. And also, um, um, Tira Waikato. Um, Referef Manukau at Puponga Marae. He, he went from one Marae to the other, um, um, skipping from one to the other in the Ngati Fatua Wars, the Waikato Wars at that time. So he ended up at his other Marae's up in Bay of Islands, Rafini, and across the Dargaville, and down Poto, and all the way through. I got it all mapped out where he went. He travelled traverse the country quite a long way. So that's all I want to say with that, uh, tied to um, everything that I've written like this for Gray Mallet. He's got all these stories as well of the Manukau history, Moriori title. The Cook Islands came next after Moriori, or they were virtually together at that time, but it's the British that made the Cook Islands Rarotonga colonial, that, that became uh, British colony before the next one in Chatham Islands, uh, Rekuhu country, came the next title, and then New Zealand from those Moriotis, that was their country, Chatham Islands. Okay, so that's the real title, not the Maori. Don't listen to anything about Maori on documents. The Maori they call all this. It's a title, but. We're just going to rip the whole lot off them again. That's what the government did, the British did, at Kurura Reka. They blew the whole place up and took that Okiato Magistrate Court to Awaroa, Helensville, Awaroa Magistrate Court. Then the Manukau title seized all the titles in the country into that British title there. That's the one I've got here. You can forget about everything else. You can forget about New South Wales and New Zealand government titles because they're only caretaker government titles and we're going to whip the whole lot of them because of the fraud. They had a free reign right up to now and now it's stopped by these paramount chiefs. We're going to take Cook Street, we're going to take it this way, cleanly, with a British uh, um, immigrant to here, Graham Miller. I've got every faith in them to do this job, Willie, and all you people up there. I've done my homework, I've done a lot of work right back 20 years plus with the Moriori Manukau title. That's it. I put all my effort in. I've been through all the other titles with uh, Machi Tarawa, Te Arawa, and with Tainui. I've been through with Waikato titles, Napui titles, Ngati Pro titles, Ngati Hauru titles, and I've come out with one Moriori title. That's it. I'm not a Moriori. I'm a Tahitian, Maui, Wanoa, Whakapapa, straight to Rapanui, to Mokonui, Mokonui, from Rapanui, son, at the east coast on our land box, the Marangaroa land box and Marangaroa Marae. I'm going to put the Marae back its name, Marangaroa Marae and build a new one. Not that one, I'll leave that one there because that's the Pākehās one. That's the white man's marae. The iwi Māori will fizzle out into oblivion. Okay? Because it's an uh, illusion. It is an illusion of people who look like Māori but are not really anything but. Well, we're going back to our old selves. You can call yourselves anything but a Maori, because that word belongs to the Pākehā. You can, you can take the word and do anything with it, but you're stuck on the side with the bill to that name, because this side's already billed the Maori. The Maori government, Maori, Māori Party, everything Maori, has got a bill from here, the King's side. Okay? Too bad. King William's laws are brutal. It's got to hang rope in it, the execution, for anybody that gets in the road 
a third party. Don't get in the road because it will cost you a trillion pounds just for stars. And that goes against the Queen and all her merry men, the thugs, I call them, on this side. Okay, so that's all. Um, I'll better get on with it. I'll try and um, get through a lot today. It's very difficult when you've got a lot of things going on at the same time. I've got my um, manager, um, Cecile Hoods, uh, and her British husband, um, Dion. Um, he's uh, German English Hoods. He's a good man. Um, so they've got full control of the business to run it for me so I can keep on with the bank, the Moai Powerhouse Bank, and with the Paramount Chiefs here, but the rest of the world, the Commonwealth countries of the world. I'm going into that stage. We want to build a building, the uh, British Empire State Building in Cornwall Park in Auckland, in memorial to the Moriolis, um, to the Waikato for their here, here, Manukau, and Refere for Manukau, and Te Mati Mohi Manukau IV. Paramount Chiefs, those three Paramount Chiefs, and with me, their executor of their contract, contract, not the family, it's a contract to the British um, um, Westminster Magistrate Court. And the Freemasons uh, with um, uh, Mohi, I promise with, with him to keep, uh, keep the faith with them and his involvement and his uh, part in the inheritance that I'll put back into the people of the world uh, in the Maui Crown King William IV Trust. Now, Bundy didn't want a trust as such uh, for the Whakameninga, it's clear, so there's no actual um, um, multi value. I, How long will you be staying to fix your car so I have an idea? Full house. I'll wait. I'll wait. Through after school, after holiday. Yes. <coughs> I'll wait. I'll wait till you're clear. Just be with me. Um, that's Jamie, um, Patrick, my friend in Fakatane. I've got to pick my car, but it's school holidays, so I'll do it after school holidays. So uh, the house is, is very busy, but I don't want to be there fixing the car with kids running around me. Um, so um, where was I? Uh, just saying that um, we are going to um, um, fashion the um, um, world. Um, through this um, um, British Empire State Building to keep it our flag British as our partnership ship of Admiralty. Now Bundy didn't want a trust as such, which really means this, that any of the funding we are recovering uh, won't be going into his uh, Whakameninga um, organisation, but I'll be setting up a separate account uh, from the Maui Crown King William IV Trust is in the state building. I'm making this statement um, cited evidence for the British people that uh, in uh, uh, Westminster um, Parliament and Government that I'm setting up a building here for this region of the South Pacific uh, so that the British military will come straight in to Rangitukia on the Guayapu River mouth and up 13 kilometers to 15 kilometers long uh, for a um, airport and for um, uh, Navy military operations right there on our land block. 
Um, so I'm in charge of all of that um, happenings and all the development there around the coast um, um, for new um, uh, buildings and uh, housing and um, economic development uh, to start straight away as soon as we finish this Cook Street property we are into that and um, up north as well. Uh, the tidal turbines will be going up off the North Cape Ranga um, there. Uh, I've already mapped that out in the early days. It's got better flow of current there in the sea, right in the roughs, um, up to 25 knots. So I'll work in the Navy with that uh, to get all the mapping. And But the other turbine will be off the East Cape, uh, Ranfilly Bank, about 50, 60 kilometres out. And the same with up north, that'll be about 60, 80 kilometres out in the rough outer shipping lanes. Uh, but it'll be a safety point for any ships having trouble to head to there and we can pull them out of water, uh, the big ships, and save them from sinking. Um, so we have um, uh, emergency uh, on there and big um, 150 tonne helicopters will be flying off there. Um, so uh, on the other hand, uh, Bundy, uh, we'll set up an account for you so that you can keep your spiritual part of the Whakamininga and the flag. You're, you're taking, this is your flag, as a Whakamininga flag for you to trade uh, yourself, but then you're more or less sailing in the ocean by yourself, <coughs> whereas on the Maui Crown King William IV Trust, it's going straight around the world already. We've got a dual government set up already on my website. I've put 20 years in this with Mohi Manukau to set it all up under the Moriori title. So if you're going to start off with your Whakaminia, it's a long way to go to make a parliament work. You'd need experts who are up to this level. I can't see any. I can't see any. In the first 10 years, I can't see any of a Maori government getting up to this level. Uh, because the advanced systems that are out there will not be able to be integrated into a, a new government to run this country apart from all the equipment and everything that's there now belongs to that government. It's all their own copyright material that you have to make your own titles with your own Maori government. Those titles that you use, those, the New Zealand titles, belongs to the government in Wellington. You'd have to buy all their equipment, everything out. And getting money from anywhere is going to be the problem if you don't get it from the Maui Crown, King William IV Trust, which is a trust. Everything is going to be a trust for a long time yet until the system in the world changes to the new world order, which is this flag on the British side. I'm doing the British side. I'm running the British side of this flag. And that's where all the value is. There's no value on the side of the Whakameninga because it's a spiritual side. It doesn't have commercial contracts in its makeup. So I want to make this clear on this video that uh, Bundy, um, Manahi belongs to this flag on this side in Britain. He's on this military value side because of his ancestor with yours being Hongi Hika, you have to start from scratch. And to get the money out of this lot, it's a portion of the rest of the world where this flag went with the British and the Queen. I think you understood that. For you to start scratch is very difficult. And I won't be around to help to make that go. You have to make it go yourself because the Whakamininga is your own ideas up there, which is unique to yourselves on this flag. You can use it for trade, but you'd have to start from scratch because you've got your own government structures that you want to put together and it can't get mixed up with this. I'm, I'm not calling it Whakamininga Trust anymore because I've just written it out. I had it on there, but that's what you wanted, so I'm just letting all you people know from Ngāpui that Bundy has, has a right of um, being in, the, in this, what we started off with the Magistrate Court. That's a trust system. 
the, the Whakamininga is not a trust system as far as you're concerned, but the Maui Crown and anything to do with magistrates' courts is trust and shares. As it started with this flag, is a commercial trading bank share system. It's not anything else. In the British system, it's nothing else but a war flag. It's a decoration of war flag with the king and what I'm doing with it. That's how they created all the business in the world, with the war and the shooting and the guns and everything, out of this flag. So I'm doing the pirate side of the flag and you're doing the spiritual side of the flag which doesn't make money. It doesn't make money on the Whakaminia. They have karakias and everything else and wire tires and all that, but they don't make money. And so uh, you keep that separate and don't get involved with commercial. But when you start trading, you're going to have to trade this way with their trust because there's no other system unless they got rid of the trust. They're not going to get rid of it in a hurry. Not as there's a big war in the world and turned upside down. But I'm saying, in reality, the, the, the system is all built around trusts. And no matter how fraud they are, they are not supposed to be fraud. It's this flag that's created the fraud because it's in the wrong hands, Bundy. It's in the wrong hands. It is still British. It is still British flag that gave it, the king gave it for just trading and booting anybody out of the road between here and Britain. It was there to fire anybody off out of the way as third parties. So everything on this side is a third party. We can shoot them. We can shoot them out of the way if they get in the road, like Cook Street. You can actually shoot them with this book. That's why I gave you this book, because it allows you to pull one of these axes out, Bundy, and shoot them. That's what you do with pirates, because they don't care about you. They don't care about your tikkun or your whakamininga, because they've got this flag. If I didn't tell you that we're going to take it off them, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know, because they own the flag. The British have let them use it, because they're making money out of these little swords down in Wellington and Australia, but not much. Not as much as what we will do out of it as commercial commercial and trust will make more out of that to feed everybody in the world the way we're doing it in this book. But if you make a Maori government or, or, or a Whakamania government, you're going to have to start from scratch, make your own money, find your own, find your own way, because you won't be able to use the power note because it's already been used in here. And by the Rothschild, you have to go and shoot them out first. So you see, Hongi didn't sign any documents. He only went for the muskets. He wasn't interested in contracts or going through all the trouble that Tira Waikato did, Manukau, the man Manukau, in 1820. He went through all the trouble to learn not only English but how documents work and was passed on to Mohi Manukau. He knew the same thing. That's why he was a surveyor of lands. He was helping to sell the lands that they had signed up with the British, was better than getting taken off you. Now, if Tira Waikato or Whare Hele Hele Manukau didn't go, these lands would have been gone. You, you wouldn't have any lands to talk about. You wouldn't even have any married land. It would be French or British. The British would have taken it. It was these two that went to save the land for anything, and they were told, well, if you don't sign a contract and take this flag, you won't have anything. You won't have anything. Well, the flag wasn't around then. They made the contract without the flag. Okay? So that's how it works, Bundy. Tira Waikato Whareheri in Manukau was an ingenious man of intelligence, high enough to work out with learning English what a contract was, and went to Edinburgh Magistrate Court and signed it. Sold all his hands because this was better than losing it. It would have got lost if he didn't go. If Hongi went, Hongi went to get the guns. He wasn't interested in any of that. Not one bit. He's Cook Island, Tahitian. That's the difference. And 
the Manichae are made mixed up with the Freemasons in Scotland. The Scottish writes, he was smart to stick with the Scottish because they're the ones with all these instruments. They're the ones that put all these instruments together. Bundy, right through the world. That's why I've stuck with instruments. And there's nothing anybody can do but make their own instruments and stack it up against that. That's what you would do if you started a, a government off. And apart from the Maori government, the Maori government, I've got everything in the book and more behind my couch here that I know how that works. But it's, for me, it's uh, in the Maori world. That's in the Maori world. Nothing wrong with it, but that's where it belongs, in the Maori world. I've pushed it aside and made the Moriori's title work. So, that's Jamie, still buzzing me. Um, so, um, um, let's get this clear. <clears throat> the Whakamania, I'll help you before I go to England to live. Uh, my daughter just went two days ago to Spain, so she's going to be operating over there, the business, I hope, um, with the King, King, Queen of Spain and our Queen Victoria Trust, and my other daughter in London to help me to run this in Westminster, Paddington area, and the business there, to um, um, Jackie and, and Andy Little Gordon and the kids in uh, Edinburgh. Well, they live up the road in Balmoral, but um, not far to go there to check all the titles and everything. <coughs> but we've got a place already sorted. She's found a place where we can stay and have our office in the country right out of town's way, so that's how it's going to be. And similar here, uh, I'd rather have a place right in the middle of nowhere where nobody's going to come and start dancing around. It's all business. They're going straight business on the side. Um, ma, ma, manahi, uh, you have to look after this business in Britain through the courts with Grey Mallet. Um, now, we're getting into the nitty-gritty of law. I'm right up to speed with the Scotland Yard, uh, and that's Jamie Patrick Stewart's family, the Stewarts in Scotland Yard. They own Scotland Yard, the Stewarts. So, but that's a different story. That's not down our line. Our line is down the land titles and the Freemasons' instruments, all their instruments that are, make the banknotes work. So, if you want a, a lesson in all of that, it'll take you 20 years to catch up with this. It's a bit too late to try and catch that lot up. This is a magistrate court on wheels. You carry it around and you can run the whole thing anywhere in the world. So for the Whakaminia to try and do this, it's quite impossible. It's quite impossible. I'm just giving them this and online for everybody to know how we're going to operate the whole world with this new world. This is the new world order. A real user. New world order. Okay? That's all I want to say with this video. So, Bundy, um, take, take a bit of notice of what I'm saying um, because you're on the right track with um, everything so far. So good. But I still have to finish this all off. It's been 20 years of combination of information from all those um, paramount chiefs that have died, left them, everything's here. From Machitara Wallace and Dawohi and, and all those people, and Sunakora and her Maori government. But that, um, um, that's up to Georgie's job to sort that out. That's, that's on the data side. It's a big job. I wouldn't like to do it. I just wouldn't like to do it. I've got a clear run here with no debts, nothing to worry about, straight. Straight around the world, straight away. On our website, and it's big time. We're going straight and I've just put some um, documents online with the uh, Sabre, the British lap kit, uh, jet, the rocket. Passenger uh, air, airplane. I want that on on our on our books straight away. That's my my project uh, to get that passenger plane flying before 2020. We'll be owning all of that lot. The Maui Crown King William IV Trust. The trust. All those members. I see my emails are starting to flow now with people buying shares and going on our website. Not even going, but they still leave there 
details there for the shares. It's a £25 cost you for a share, you get a free share, so it really costs you nothing. And that's the end of it, you wouldn't have to buy any more shares anymore. The big companies will come in with one million for one share as being a patent right to build the projects and as companies that guarantee their work. So that's how it works, simply, um, to make the power note valuable, more valuable than any other thing on this planet Earth. Okay, and the water too. Okay, thank you very much. We'll see you later. Bye.